Hi everyone, welcome to Mackenzie Photo. I'm putting up two videos this week, just two short ones. This time I want to talk about finding the perfect camera bag. Is it even possible? Um, that is an interesting question. I don't think any photographer has the answer to it. If you've been, been, if you've been taking pictures for a number of years and you've accumulated some gear, you end up wanting to take that out with you every single time and your camera bag tends to get bigger and bigger and then you start thinking, I don't need to take this all with me every time and then you start prioritizing which gear and then you've got this big massive camera bag um, with a lot of empty space or like me, you've been buying camera bags probably about one a year for the past 10 years. A few have got rid of, a few have kept. Um, but right now I'm going to show you the camera, that, camera bag that I'm currently using, which is the Lowen Pro Flipside uh, 500. It is massive. Um, it's, it's honestly, it's too big. Um, with that I can carry so much gear and the problem with that is it seems like a great idea at the time but then when you actually start going anywhere and you've, your camera bag's full of everything you've not got much room for like water, sandwiches, stuff like that. If you're going out for the day you end up just getting weighed down or you end up carrying another normal rucksack with um, a few items and that so you end up carrying two bags. It's just too much to carry. There's too much, um, how can I put it? There's too much opportunity to take everything with you with that bag. Now, I've tried other bags where they've downsized. I've got this National Geographic one. It's a nice little shoulder one. With that, I can fit a camera body and lens and a couple other bits and bobs and that's it. Um, so that one can be an everyday carry. Um, but that one I haven't used in a while. Um, I've got this one. This was the first low pro one that I ever got and it's the Mini Trekker something or other. But it's basically, I won this because um, I submit, submitted an image to a magazine. This was when magazines were still a prominent thing and I won it. I was really chuffed, it was the first time I got in a magazine and I got this little bag for it and this served me really well for a long time. It's a nice little backpack, it's been through the wars but it does, it still works. Unfortunately for me, as I've grown older and got more paranoid, because my gear's got more expensive, it does open from, the, from this part of the bag rather than what they're doing now which is a lot of flip side ones. I prefer opening from the back because that way if I'm walking down the street, then no one can actually get to the expensive stuff. So that one has served me well, but I'd no longer particularly use that. Um, I've also got another shoulder one. Again, this is a massive shoulder one. This is fine if you're doing weddings and stuff like that, and you, do, you can set it down and go back to it. You can carry a lot of gear with that one again, but, um, but that's a certain type of thing. Um, now try and decide which is the perfect bag it's it's impossible to answer basically the perfect bag is the bag that fits that situation you're going to be in um, for me my situation is I have, a, I have free time just now to go out and take pictures quite a lot but I find with that, I end up going back to the massive bag and putting everything in it, like the drone plus free batteries, even if I'm not planning on using it, I might use it. That's the problem. I might use everything that's in the bag, but nine times out of 10, I don't. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to start trying to think about what I need to carry more and for the specific thing I'm going out to take pictures of. So if I'm going out to do landscapes, I'm not going to be doing portraits, so I won't need a reflector, etc, etc. Um, and with that, I've bought yet another new bag. Um, and it's this one here. It is, what's it called? 
Again, it's the flip side, it's the Lone Pro flip side Trek AW450. So this one, I'll stop crumpling that. But. So this one is actually if you're going hill walking, rather than me taking the massive 500 one and taking on my gear, this one actually has a smaller camera pouch, but you've also got room for stuff in there like a tablet or laptop which I'll end up never carrying with me because it's just too heavy but you've also got this nice little bit for carrying your lunch or something else just up here it's actually it's actually just the perfect size for my daily adventures and um, because I have free time which a lot of you don't which I understand but at the moment I am suffering with cancer so I'm not working um, so that's my way of thinking about it. That's what's given me free time in at the minute and I'm gonna use it as much as I can until I'm healthy again. Um, I've not actually uh, took any dividers out of this bag yet um, to like see what it can do. This is actually as it comes from Amazon, apart from one little thing I've added. I've also, oh. I should have switched off notifications, my apologies for that. Yep, I've added one little addition to this and I've bought myself one of these um, camera clips, the Peak Design one, because it seems to be the best in the market because like yourself, um, if you've been using camera backpacks, sometimes you don't want to have the camera on your neck or carrying it by your side and you end up taking your bag off, putting it back in the bag and that wastes a couple of minutes and it's just annoying. So I've seen this on a few channels um, and I'm quite looking forward to using it. So that'll save me having to put the camera back in there and it just clipping on, it's a bit of a lifesaver. And actually what I found is when you have the camera in your hand and stuff, the bag is a hell of a lot lighter. The camera adds so much weight to the backpack normally. So this might actually make things a lot easier possibly we'll just need to wait and see but yeah this is the possibly the perfect camera bag for my situation now for your situation I don't know what that is it might end up being something like this the sort of medium sized National Geographic type shoulder bag now I'm not saying it's the National Geographic one I'm just saying it might be that style, that size, because that's good for in the city. Um, but again, my paranoia sets in in the city and I've heard stories about people sort of coming up with a stand knife, cutting a strap, your bag falls to grab it and leg it. Um, so I much prefer having something like this where the camera's in a pocket that you can't get to um, unless you take the bag off and unzip everything. So that's my preferred style of ca camera bag. Um, the question that, I pull, that I'm supposed I'm gonna put on the front of this is, I think I've found the perfect camera bag for me and only me. Your mileage may differ. You may have this bag, you may hate it, you may have a different variation of it and you love it. Or you might have this exact model and you absolutely love it and can't rave about it enough or you might have one of the other styles and you can't rave about them enough as well the the problem is in the beginning is trying to find the right camera bag for yourself the problem with that is in the beginning and then you look at the prices of camera bags gets a bit scary but what i've also seen now is the little modules and pods pretty much that you can be in normal rucksacks and stuff if you're just starting out i would go for one of them just get a little sort of padded pocket thing that you can put inside your camera bag along with it inside your normal bag whether it's nike or tesco zone or anything like that and you can pop it in and then it doesn't look like a camera bag the best camera bag really for in the city is something that doesn't look like a camera bag because you don't want to advertise your carrying between 1,000 and 10,000 pounds on your shoulder, pretty much most of the time. Um, and that's in my opinion. I'm, like I say, I'm very paranoid when I'm in the city. Um, but a lot of camera bags now 
don't look like camera bags like well like they used to and um, obviously if someone's going to steal something off your shoulder they're probably going to know the brand low and pro or peak design is another one or whatever company peak mckinnon's working with if they know what they're looking for they're going to know the type of bag anyway i'm going off on a tangent um so yeah i'm going to use these two new little things in the coming days so the peak design clip and the lopo trek 450 aw i'm quite looking forward to it um, and i'll possibly do a little review for you afterwards if you want um, why don't you comment down below and tell me what camera bag you've got and why you picked it and why you think it's the best or worst camera bag that money can buy um, yeah just why don't you like subscribe and comment down below and give me all the reasons why you would pick this style of camera bag or you wouldn't pick it and what your preferred style of camera bag is anyway that's enough of me rambling absolute rubbish i just want to say thank you very much for watching um, as normal at the end of these videos i always ask the ladies and gentlemen to please check yourself for any new lumps and bumps if you find any or you have a prolonged cough or any length of time please go to your doctor as soon as possible and get yourself checked out if the doctor's not willing to do something go to another doctor make sure that you are sure that you do not have cancer unfortunately i wasn't that lucky and i do have cancer and this is the second time around it's the worst phone call you can get because you feel like it's a death sentence fortunately my prognosis is good but i would beg you to go and get yourself checked i have three young children and i have fought as hard as i can to beat this and i will not give up to my last breath i am determined i am going to beat this this time around so don't let your friends or your family down by not doing something simple as checking yourself. All you have to do is have a wee feel around. For the men, that's a normal day. For the ladies, I don't know, I'm not one. Um, but please, get yourself checked out. Um, now, with me having cancer, um, you've probably guessed that I'm not a fan of it. On my hat, I think you can see it says, fuck cancer. If you would like a hat like this or a t-shirt or anything, you can get them from my website. If you do decide to do something like that and you buy one from my website, it gives me a little bit of money, helps support me through cancer and it would be greatly appreciated. Um, and if you choose to go to my website, I'm gonna put a discount code on the screen below. I'm gonna stop putting it in the description so it's only people that are watching that get to use the discount code. It's Mackenzie photo 10 all capitals. Um, and if you do that, I would just say, I will say thank you so much. The little bit, the little bits of money that I get really do help support me and my family getting through this time. Um, I know that it looks like I've got all the best of gear and stuff, but it's taken me a long, long, long time to get to this level of equipment um, just for personal use. Um, Anyway, I just want to say thank you so much. Please go to my website, have a look at my images and let me know what you think. You don't have to buy anything, obviously. Um, but if you do, thank you so much. I've also got my print sale up as well at the moment. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. Thank you very much for watching. Please take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.